we've got a game object here. Uh, it's just a sprite of an arrow, which we want to um, rotate so it moves between two angles back and forth. Um, so we've got the sprite, and we've just got a script attached to that um, with this in the update function. So transform dot local Euler angles, and uh, that equals a new vector three. And we want zero rotation on x, zero rotation on y, and then for z rotation, we're going to use this math f dot ping pong. Um, if you look in the documentation, this needs something to uh, increment by. So we're using time dot time. Uh, multiply by 60, otherwise it uh, moves um, really, really slowly, so we can um, increase the rate of rotation. And then this is the angle that it will rotate through, so this will subtend an angle of uh, 90 degrees back and forth. So if we play this here, so you can see that it's going from 0 down to 90 and back, but we want it to uh, sort of move forward here. So what we can do is... Um, we um, reduce the angle that we want it to start off to 45, so over here, and then back and forth, so it'll move between 45 and 40, uh, minus 45. And there we go. And if we want to be able to change the speed of this in the inspector, um, so what we can do in here, rather than just times it by 60, uh, if we serialize the field uh, in the inspector, rotate speed, Like so. And if we play that again, then we can change the uh, the speed in the inspector. Okay, so one final thing, um, currently it's rotating around the pivot point in the middle. If we want it to rotate from the, uh, the base, uh, if we go into the sprite editor, and we can move the pivot point uh, down to the base. Apply that, and you can see it's moving back and forth between 45, and you can obviously change the angles in here, so if we made that 180, and reload, and move 180 degrees, and then again we can change that negative angle to uh, to set that to the, the direction we want to start with. There we go.